Okay, so here are the dollar store tombstones. And I bought two of each. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm putting a rod up in there. Like that. In between them, I'm sandwiching them. And I'm going to glue them together with dollar store chalk. Okay. And that's going to have to probably about 24 hours for that to sit to dry. Because you can't use their foam, so you can't use regular glue. So the purpose is, is to get these two together to give them a little more so they're bigger. Okay. Thicker, I mean. And then they'll slide down into these, which I'm going to put in the ground. And slide it down into there so they don't go anywhere. But see, the problem is, is when they give you them little shakes, those do not, we all know, you come out and then they're flying away. And your neighbor has them. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay, once you set those together, then you want to put something on top of them or clamp it. Which I'm just going to stack them and put something heavy on top. Don't worry about the cock coming out the sides because we're going to be painting all that and it'll pull right off. Okay, so these are dry and I just picked off my fingers, just the extra. On there you can use a razor knife if you want to but I don't like the way he, I don't like the candy stealer on here and these dollar store ones have the raised letters so you can just pick them off so and I'll show you they just they snap right off I just think it's tacky looking so, so See what I mean? There's the hands. I peeled them off. But I didn't like, I wanted a half jaw because I just think that looks tacky. So I just peeled off this lower jaw. Just like that. Very easy. So I think I'm going to take, make it look like it was a little. Leave some raised edges. Just like that. So these are supposed to be old gravestones and if you've ever been in an old graveyard, the tombstones are barely legible. Crack some of those off a little. Okay, now that our tombstones are ready, we're going to paint them. We're just going to use latex paint. I just went and went to Walmart and got the color place. It's just gray. I just had to mix me gray paint. You can see that. Because you got to watch, you can't spray paint them because they will melt because they're styrofoam and you can't um you have to use latex on them trust me from experience it's not a good idea to use any other type of paint okay so i use latex paint paint to paint them and we're gonna let them dry and then we're going to age I have some black. Green for the mossy look. Spring green. I just am using what I had on here. White. For where it's chipped. Okay. I'm 
I'm just following all the chips. Because like it, it cracked. It would show the white cement color. I put a dollar store was selling these skeletons, so I glued one on top as you see it melted a little, and then I used uh, hot glue to secure it, and it's pretty good in there, so I think we're good there because I wanted it to have some character. Okay. I got them painted how I want them. I'm just doing the high areas with a really dry sponge of a medium gray. Because that's what would be worn. Let's put some moss on them and see how we like it. I'm going to use hot glue and I got this moss from the dollar store. Whatever you got. That one done deal. That one. Hey, okay, this one's a big kahuna, so we want it to make make it look good. So I'm just gonna dust a few pieces off. Make it look chipped. So the one that I pulled the letters off of because I thought was stupid, I'm going to use a soldering iron and write in it with it. Then I think I'm going to paint that white. If you're member, thanks for being here. If you are not, please consider subscribing for more fun stuff like this video. Today we are going to decorate and make the graveyard. I'm so excited. Tombstones are finally done. Everything's dried and ready to roll. So let's get started.